Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, we are unboxing my Think Pink box. And like I always do in these videos, stay to the end because at the end of it, I'm going to reveal what I made with the fabric. So my box, I can't believe that it's here already. So today is Monday, the 29th of July, and this was shipped to me on the 24th of July. So five days and there's a weekend in between there. So that is just really, really fast. It's like it used to take three times that amount of time when these boxes were shipped from Ireland. So good job, Royal Mail. Um, my box is in very good condition, which is great, but I did notice that the sticker came undone. So I haven't actually opened it yet, but yeah, let's have a look. Ooh. All right, look at that beautiful, beautiful card. So it says, out of the blue. This is Soscription box number 30. There's the QR code on the back to get to the e-magazine. And there's 2.5 meters of fabric, like always. And there are two colorways this month, which I love. All right, let's get this little, look how nice this is all wrapped up in a cute package with the sticker on there. Ooh, okay. Oh, oh, there are loose things in here. <laughs> Couple of candies. Hmm, I don't know what this is. It looks like it's probably like a mint of some kind. Oh, wow. This is nice. A Maker's Project Pad. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, and there are project pages. Oh, there we go. Super fun. So you can make all kinds of notes on each project you're making. I love this. I love notepads. Amazing. The notion this month is super cute rickrack. It's white. Very cute. Here is my thread. So it's a gray bluish. So it looks very blue on camera. It's not that bright in real life. I think that's got to do with my lights. And here is the fabric. Just making sure there's nothing left in the box. There isn't. Look at this. This feels like a poplin, maybe a viscose poplin. Yeah, I'm going to have to click or look at the QR code and see what this is. It feels like, yeah, between a poplin and a lawn. It is not see-through, but it's not completely opaque. Like I have the feeling that if I were caught in the sun, things might show. <laughs> but yeah, it's beautiful. And look at these colors. This will be perfect for my vacation in Greece. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look how pretty this is. Love these colors. All right. So I'm going to go have a look at the, the ebook and see what Andrea's got in terms of inspiration or additional information about this fabric but as I was talking an idea popped into my mind as to what I could make with this yeah all right I'm gonna go have a look at the ebook and stick this in the wash and I will be back 
very, very shortly for you and probably a couple of weeks from now for me with hopefully a wearable finished garment. So I'll see you then. And I am back. I have to admit, I decided to play it safe maybe and go with a pattern I've made in the past and that I've been dying to make again. So I made the Pattern Emporium Be Mine balloon sleeve top and I'm going to scoot over so that we can insert pictures and a quick little twirl I recorded and there are some lessons <laughs> that I appeared not to want to learn. So a couple of boxes back we had this beautiful cotton poplin maybe it was. It was a pretty structured fabric with very little drape and I ended up making a shirt for myself which I ended up not liking at all and because although typically a shirt, a button-up shirt, you should be able to use a cotton poplin for that with no problems. But I just don't love how cotton or structured fabrics look on me. I prefer my garments to glide and drape and, and yeah. Anywho, so I decided to make, again, a garment that is slightly oversized. It's got exaggerated balloon sleeves and a lot of room around the waist, so it's pretty boxy. And I don't love how this looks on me. I just, I just don't. Um, the top is beautiful. I love the colors on me. And I will put this in my suitcase for when I go to Greece because that's why I made this. It's gonna look super cute with navy shorts, navy pants. Um, I have a pair of ready to wear white shorts that it's gonna look really cute with. So I'm gonna take it with me, but then I'm probably gonna end up giving this garment to somebody. I'll see, if I can style it, I didn't even try to style it um, like a half tuck or something like that. If I manage to do that, while I'm wearing it in Greece, I may keep it after I get back, but yeah. So the next time, if you're a subscriber of the Think Pink box, and when you open your box, it's a cotton anything <laughs> or a pretty structured fabric, can you send me a message to remind me that I don't like to wear that kind of fabric because obviously it just refuses to to stick anywho so here's my top it's a beautiful top you know I just don't love how it looks on me but it's a gorgeous pattern it's a beautiful top and I will make this again in a viscose or rayon um, in something a little drapier something with a lot less structure I think will look really really nice. Now I did have quite a bit of fabric left after making my top and so I decided to make a little something for Marianne and here again I went with something safe, something I've made for her a number of times in the past. I made her the Ogden Cami and here it is and hopefully when she edits this video, she'll be able to insert a couple of pictures of herself in her cami. Um, it's such a quick pattern to make. And in the size I make for Marianne, I think I make a size oof, small, I think. Um, it takes very, very little fabric. Um, it is lined to right under the bust with facings and I included come on there we go this cute label that we got from the um, Beyond the Pink Door advent calendar last year I think she's really gonna like this and I hope she brings it to Greece we're gonna try not to wear our tops on the same day because yeah, I don't know that I'd be down with twinning with Marianne, although, you know, why not? 
Um, so yeah, and I do still have about oof, maybe a quarter or half yard left of this fabric and that's now gone into my quilting fabric stash because I can definitely use this fabric to make quilt blocks. So there you go. Here is the garments I made with the August Think Pink box. Again, the, the whole thing for me about this box is really the anticipation. Like when I get the notification that it's been shipped, I track it on my phone and I get all excited. And when it shows up at the door, I'm like, I'm seriously like a kid on Christmas morning. And all of the extras and all the, the e-magazine and the gifts and the sweet treat Andrea puts so much thought into each one of her boxes. So even though sometimes the fabric is not 100% my style or something I would want to wear, the whole experience for me is special enough to want to keep my subscription. And if I do get another cotton, <laughs> then I can use it, you know, in a quilt. No, there's no law that says that you have to use your subscription fabric to make yourself a garment. I can make something for someone else. I could, like I said, make a quilt, make a bag, make a cute little zipper pouch or 10 cute little zipper pouches. I mean, the holidays are coming, so there you go. So yeah, so that's for me because I have gotten comments in the past saying, Oh, I could never subscribe to a box like that because like they see my reaction sometimes to the fabric I get, but for me it's it's the fabric is almost like an added bonus if I end up loving it. It's the whole experience that makes it worthwhile for me. Anywho, thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video today. Please remember to give it a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again and I will see you soon.